hello and welcome to today's video and this video is about fake or counterfeit money that's currently circulating in the Midlands mainly the West Midlands i.e. Warwickshire um, this one's been handed in recently and if you're not sure if you're not used to UK money uh, the one on the left is the counterfeit note and the one on the right is the genuine note. Now, if you get given one of these individually, you're probably not going to notice much of a difference. But if you're giving them in a group, the, the colour is a lot stronger on the fake note than it is on the genuine one. Uh, one of the main things that you can actually see in this video straight away is the hologram that's showing just here on the genuine one and it's showing a crown and on the other one there is a crown there but it isn't glowing and if we move the notes up and down the crown light changes and on the counterfeit one it does absolutely anything nothing at all also you can see a little ring that's appearing around this tower as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically go in closer into these notes and some you may have seen these notes also before on youtube because I believe I haven't actually ripped off this tape yet but I believe this is called prop money and I've no idea why it exists or how it's managed to get into circulation so um, what I'm also going to do is show some other lights we've got of course um, you may not have a black light with you and obviously the old marker pens are no good on polymer notes either. So what I'm going to do now is backlight these notes. And now another difference you're seeing on this camera straight away is on the genuine note, this purple's not solid. And then on the counterfeit one, it is solid. Also, there's a few scratches on this where um, the ink's starting to come off. The queen looks different as well. This is like a solid image and this is more of a watermark. And again, if I angle the notes around, you'll see that that is definitely not right. Right, what I'm also going to do is show you some of the other marks later on when I've got the notes loose. And there's some embossed dots in this corner here. This note has them, uh, this one doesn't. There's also loads of little twenties embossed into the plastic on this window. And this window is also blank as well. So what I'm going to do now is pause the video for a short time and I'm going to turn the notes over so we can see the other side. Okay, I've just flipped the notes over and some more interesting things just happened. On this bit of sellotape here, it's actually got a very faint bit of print that was actually on the other side which isn't good and as we look at these now uh, the little hologram is showing again on this one and nothing on the counterfeit again and we'll quickly backlight them once more The genuine note appears to let less light through. 
and again the difference between this ring here and the thing. I am going to actually tell you the uh, the two numbers here because the counterfeit note is BL20610057 the genuine note is CK ninety forty four fifty eight thirty three. Now, obviously, there's only one of this note in circulation, but there be, might be many BL twenty sixty one zero zero fifty sevens. So another interesting thing that's showing up here that the actual I, this thing at the bottom is now changed and on this one it is an like a we say American football or rugby shaped football uh, with some lines underneath it on, on this side well it's just not even on this side of the note it's on the wrong side so what I'm going to do now is take the notes off and we'll have a lot quicker to a quicker closer look at the notes through the camera okay again starting with a genuine note we have the numbers here that's a little 20s the hologram again that I said that changes top and bottom pounds showing the dots the embossed dots that are in this top corner quite clearly visible on the camera on the back side we'll have a look at this logo again a hologram the window again and if I get the fingers in the right place it's very there they are you can see the embossed 20s there again there's the dots in the top corner these are this time they're reversed and there's two sets of four so there's four at the top and then there's four a little bit further down I put a little bit of sellotape on this note and I'm going to be really rough and pull it off that did, and solid tape is clear and the note is undamaged even though the solid tape has been destroyed and what we'll do now ah this is what before we go we'll just look at this building thing here this is what it looks like on the genuine one And now let's look at the counterfeit one. Right, the first thing we're about with the counterfeit one again is the window in the bottom corner is clear. There is no embossed twenties. The building is completely different. I'll quickly put up the genuine one next to it. The genuine one looks like that and this one has square windows so square windows at the top lined windows on that one again we'll rip off this piece of sellotape that I've stuck on See if I can don't make a mess this time. And I've it's not been quite as bad as the end bit, but there is print coming off on the solar tape. And if we look down the centre line where it's been folded, it's quite clearly not on. This is 
this strange bit of tape that's on this note. Um, if you ever get one of these notes and you're not sure, just run your hand across here because that, I'm going to rip this off in a minute, is not real. So, and then on the other side, again, we've got the paint coming off and the building's wrong and the queen is wrong as well. This, this logo here is nothing like the original. Again, nothing there. And there's no dots on this note. The queen should look like virtually invisible as a watermark and not that we're seeing there. And finally, I think we'll destroy this note properly and get off whatever this thing is. You should not be able to do this on a real note. As I said, I've just partially pulled it off. What I'm gonna do is try and get the rest of it off. There we go. And now it says, very interestingly, it says movie money. So the question is, how is movie money stroke prop money managed to get into circulation in the UK. It actually says something else on the top but I can't quite read it because it doesn't actually say uh, I don't think it says prop money but it says something up there. But it definitely says movie money on this note now i have got some black lights and some other lights we can try on these notes so i'm going to finish the video by doing this okay so the first light we're going to try is a marine blue light i don't expect this to show up much we'll turn it on The, um, the genuine note and is, well, the hologram showing up. Obviously, there's no hologram on here and it does say prop money at the top and movie money at the bottom. But again, the hologram is still showing. So what I think we'll do is we'll go on to the next light I'm going to try, which is a Jeremy Seidel lump. Now for this um, light, I am going to um, uh, wear glasses for this uh, with glass in because um, these lights are quite dangerous. So we'll just turn it on for a short time. Quickly check the notes again. Nothing obvious on either side. So what I think we'll finally do is quickly turn this one off and go to the black light. Okay, so I've now got the black light connected up and we'll turn on the black light. And of course, with the black light, a genuine 20 pound note should have the logo on. What I'm gonna just have to do here is just quickly um, turn, close the curtains so we can actually see. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, I've got the um, black lights on now. And you can quite clearly see if I get this light in the correct position, the 20 pound note symbol that appears 
just here in the UV only. None of the other lights show it. And of course, nothing on the prop money. But obviously, because they are not made of paper, you cannot. Um, it doesn't show it up. They're both made out of a kind of a plastic polymer. The real £20 note. You can do all kinds of things to these and they're fine. I'll just give this one to give a rip. Yeah. They're made out of very similar material. But anyway, I hope you um, like this video on this genuine £20 note and this prop money movie money that's somehow got into circulation in the UK. I think someone needs to explain themselves. Be very wary. Uh, there is a few clues. Scratches where the paint's coming off. And a few little other items. So I'd like to say um, thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. And see you again soon. Goodbye.